Hi, this is Roger with Wheel Kinetics. We're selling this truck on eBay. It is a 2004 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, it's a half ton quad cab SLT. Uh, it's a Hemi, uh, 5.7 liter four wheel drive. It's a theft recovery we bought here at an auction in Tucson. Uh, what do we do? We bought uh, one wheel for it and a matching set of uh, used uh, BFG uh, all-terrain TAs, which are in pretty good shape. They're actually, you know, I don't know, 50-60% tread. Uh, when we got it, it had a bunch of desert brush scratches, but they all buffed out, as you can see. Um, it's really actually pretty good shape. The only real issues with the cosmetics are the tailgate and the uh, rear bumper. It's got a few minor things. Uh, let's see. Let's go with the driver tire first. Driver front tire. Here's the tread. Yeah, I don't know about it. It's probably more like 30 or 40 percent tread. A couple little scratches here where they stole the Hemi emblems. A little road rash there. A little tiny bit, really. A little bit right there. The hood looks great. That tire is very high tread. That's probably 50 or 60 percent. This is just dirt. Little, little tiny, little tiny door dings right there. Two of them. This is the driver rear tire. That's about 30% tread. That side looks great. Passenger side looks excellent. Uh, here's your biggest problem. You've got a big owie in the tailgate. Try to get an angle on it. Kinda. You can see that. And the rear bumper has a nice owie. The rear bumpers uh, from uh, Keystone or Aftermarket are about eh, anywhere between 200 and 300, but you might be able to get a used one fairly cheap. Um, I think this car belonged to an old man who had a, one of those little tiny fifth wheel trailers or something because uh, the truck aside from the tailgate is in great shape and it has very low miles which generally indicates uh, an older person had it. He'd probably used this to take his little trailer to the lake or something. And uh, let's see. I see nothing on this side. The driver rear tire is about 50%. So the passenger front and the driver rear are about 50%, and the passenger front and the drive and the passenger rear are about 30%. This side of the truck looks fabulous too. Both sides, the hood, the only thing that needs to be dealt with really is the tailgate, if you want to deal with it, and the bumper. This is why I think it belonged to an old guy, because this uh, rear seat really looks like nobody's been in it, like never been in it. Let's see. The headliner looks brand new. Door panels look brand new. All right, let's get a, uh, let's go look under the hood real quick. All right, there we go. These are the original fenders. No paintwork there. It's got a K&N filter on it. Air box.
and they did it correctly because it doesn't have a check engine light on for emission stuff. So whoever did that did the mass sensor and did everything correctly. Okay, there's your door panels. Let's see, everything. Let's make sure everything works. There you go. Driver door, passenger, rear, driver rear door, passenger rear door. Let's see, mirrors. Yep, mirrors work. Driver mirror, passenger mirror over there, that works. Uh, they broke the tilt lever off. Um, it's in a comfortable position. We would have to get a, buy a new column just to get like a $10 part. See how it's just broken off through the plastic? I wouldn't deal with it. It's not, it's at a good angle. It's not too high, it's not too low. So, whatever. We are waiting for a new ignition so we can, it's running right now without a key. We're going to put a new ignition in here. Um, that's how they broke that. But uh, it will have a brand new ignition. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, this truck has 88,878 miles. Uh, there's the passenger seat. The interior of this truck is really, really nice. Gosh, got the overhead here, put it on, there we go, miles, step, yikes, almost out of gas, 12 miles, oh, 121 miles, no I'm not, alright, let's see, let me put it into four low, let's see if it works, oh yeah, Yes, it does. Definitely feel that. All right, let's put it down into four high. Yep. Yep. Definitely works there. All right, let me put a seatbelt on. We'll go to, for a little ride on the worst paved street in the, in the country. You'd think we lived in Bolivia. Oh, here's the air conditioning, by the way blowing ice cold air. Works perfectly. Oh, this is overdrive also. There's overdrive. Off. On. Off. There's cruise control. On. Off. Anyway, let's go for a ride. It's uh, hot today in Tucson. Today's 99. Um, usually we get to uh, 100 by the end of April. It's the end of May. So if you're those global warming people, you might want to stick with climate change for Tucson because it's been a lot cooler and, uh, and a beautiful winter. Gosh, nice and cold, lots of rain, snow up in the mountains. Right outside of town, we got uh, eight feet of snow about 30 minutes from us. So I'm not really sure that the global warming tag is going to work so well in Tucson. It's been really, really nice. So, anyway, we'll probably get 100 here June 1st or 2nd, and that's uh, later than usual. Anyway, it's a nice truck. Um, check it out on eBay. It'll be there for a very fair price. Thank you.